Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. It's you can all channel life channel about life in Canada and about travel. Sometimes I'm traveling, guys. I promise you. Sometimes you will see on my channel some travel experience. I used to be like a travel guy with my with my wife before, but yeah, once we move to Canada, it's not so easy to. Uh, <laughs> It's not so easy to be able to travel a lot, but still we can explore some neighborhood in here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today, guys. So it's about Butterfly Conservatory experience. And yeah, with my son, it's some kind of Father's Day for me. I've got a vacation day. It's uh, extremely wonderful to have some vacation day, guys, to take some day off. And yeah, guys, I've been too busy with my work, so it's actually been it's been a while when I was creating some new video for you guys. But still, I have a huge backlog with some and other videos that actually still not under editing, and I still need to get it done and to to share with you guys on my channel. So I still have a bunch of videos and something to share with you guys. So yeah, guys, thank you for being with me all this time, and let's today let's explore this butterfly conservatory. It's uh, it's promising to be really interesting one, and yeah, it's uh, I saw it's a bunch of good reviews on Google Maps, so it's uh, pretty close to Niagara Falls, something to explore. And if you have some time, like except of visit Niagara Falls and a bunch of different places which you can find on my channel, for example, like Niagara Gardens. So you can explore this guy, this uh, butterfly mm, conservatory. And with my son today, hey Danny, say hello. Hello. So with my son today, we're going to explore this one. And yeah, guys, let's get it explored. Enjoy and stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching this one. So guys, we arrived. It's uh, some parking space. This is Parkadine parking space. And you, by the way, you can pay by using this application, Parkadine. And the price for me, it's uh, it's weekdays, and the price for me just please don't tell uh, nobody about this. So the price for this like eight bucks for per hour, and not like cheaper, I should say, guys. It's a weekday. It's uh, just for the history. This is February eighth, and it, I don't think it's some kind of popular time to visit this butterfly conservatory. But yeah, still price for this park and like eight bucks. Just be aware. And yeah, we're just going to explore. I just paid for one hour. So we will try to make it in one hour and I will explore to make some video inside and you will decide if it's worth it to visit or not. And I will give you my opinion after all this experience. And yeah, let's get things started, guys. So as you can see, guys, it's a huge parking, parking space just uh, behind me. And if you're going to be in here, don't forget to explore this uh, this place, this park is just uh, this park just behind me. It's another one. It's called Niagara Gardens, and it's about landscape design school or something. And it's an extremely wonderful place to explore, guys. Definitely can recommend you. And you can find, by the way, some video on my channel already about this experience. And you can just explore it and decide if it's cool or not. But actually, I'm sharing only good places, guys. Only good. So yeah, this is butterfly conservatory. And as you can see, like nobody in here. <laughs> so let's see if it's if it's going to be working out for us. Okay guys, first expression is like paradise, like they so so calm, you know, you can just try to touch these butterflies and just without any problems, I don't know why. They're so friendly for, for humans, you know guys. And as you see it's extremely warm place, so yeah, be aware about this. And yeah, the price was about 35 bucks for me and for my son.
If the kingdom is overthrown, meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I can't be without you. This bond is solid gold. We're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way. Now we've been through the cold and darkest days. The summer's cold. Hey guys, please be extremely careful that uh, these butterflies, they just can stay in on the floor and you can harm, uh, harm them. And yeah, just please be careful because it's happening every time in South Africa. So, yeah friends, we just stand right in front of this butterfly conservatory and just ask my son if he like it and he definitely like it. So it's worth it <laughs> to take your kids and explore this place. It took us maybe like 30 minutes, I believe. So it's absolutely enough, maybe 30, 40 minutes, not more. 
Maybe it's actually possible to get done even in 25 minutes if you fast. So yeah, guys, please watch your steps because every time this butterfly is on the floor, I don't want, I didn't want to harm somebody. And yeah, exactly. So just watch your steps, guys. And that's it, guys. So one hour experience actually it's enough. It's a good place to visit. It's definitely worth it. And I hope you will enjoy, guys, to visit in this place. Now I believe we on our way to McDonald's and we're going to grab some food because it's actually almost lunch time. And yeah, just lovely weather, guys. It's positive 5, it's February 8th, and it's winter. And if you didn't know, I live in St. Catharines. It's maybe like 20 minutes away from Niagara. It's a wonderful place to live. Much better, I believe, than live in Niagara. And still, I have all these fans around me, just like 20 minutes away. A bunch of falls, a bunch of stuff to explore. And some of them you can find already on my channel. And you should be able to, to explore it with yourself. So yeah, guys, stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching this one. So guys, I just want to share my experience. It's been the worst ever. McDonald's what I saw so far in my life, this uh, in Niagara, this is uh, the closest one to this uh, butterfly conservatory So I would not recommend you guys to visit this one. I will left link for this guy Not sure if you, if, it, if it will still uh, on these bad conditions when you're going to visit this place So let me explain why I'm why I'm trying to say it's uh, worse our experience First of all, it's not possible to close this washroom from, in, from inside and when, when you're with kids, it's not really cool, you know guys uh, second one, so uh, no soap inside in this washroom, men's washroom, I mean. No uh, antiseptic inside of this McDonald's, like anywhere. You can't find, you cannot find any antiseptic. So you can actually wash your hands, you know, guys. That's why I, I should, I had, I had to go back to my car, to my vehicle to grab this antiseptic from my car, and only then I, I would. Uh, I was able to wash my hands the same for my for my son you know guys so definitely not a good experience for me another problem i didn't get this number when i was trying to pay for my order i didn't get this number uh, to be able to grab my order you know guys so i didn't have any table service in this mcdonald's like only from cashier i uh, i was able to grab my food so, and you know guys, when you haven't had this experience actually, I should mention like this food wasn't taste good for me. I don't know how it's working, but it's definitely working this way. If you see all these problems, issues, so you will see this like it's not a good food. I don't know, it, it was like dry. It was my wrap, it was like dry from inside. I felt like even like, you know, it was uh, cooked like with some bad oil. Maybe I'm wrong, I can't say it, but it, that's how it's working. When you see all this issue, you will see this like not good food for you so uh, the same for my for happy meal it was uh, McNuggets it wasn't good I don't know why uh, the same for french fries it was like dry it was overcooked so I don't know what happened to this place but it's definitely worst ever experience with McDonald's ever and I'm going to probably left some review to owner of this place because it's actually it's helpful for this, this business uh, and you should do it because you this way you can you can get this place better next time for next customers for you guys for example so i definitely i'm going to review this place and it's it's not going to be a good review so yeah guys i believe i'm going to wrap up this vlog in here and thank you for being with me and thank you for tuning this time to my vlog and i will try to catch you in the next one bye guys thank you
Hey guys, for those of you folks who are still watching this video, some bonus fun. I'm gonna share this pub. We found some Canadian gastro pub in the world, and this kind of lovely place, guys. We got some nice French fries for my son, some salad. It's called Caesar salad, Caesar, Caesar salad, and some burger, which was actually like fabulous, guys. And yeah, definitely a good place to visit. Like, strongly can recommend you. It's a bit place mark on TripAdvisor, so yeah, definitely go to visit. What do you want to say? So yeah guys, we've got just lovely experience with this the Karma Chameleon pub and we've got just lovely food. It, it was actually it was so delicious, it was uh, fabulous. So I can I can firmly recommend this place to visit. And uh, it's I believe like downtown of Thorold in here. So you can check this out how it looks like. Pretty good city, I should say. It's pretty far, pretty close to my St. Catherine's where I'm living right now. So it's a good place to explore. Definitely. And it's close to Niagara. To Niagara Falls and this butterfly conservatory. So yeah guys, that's it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys, peace out.